What's up, ProGuides family? My name is Renox, and today we're gonna be going over Haven and how you should be utilizing Sova's recon darts to better win your games. Sova is one of the highest skill ceiling agents in Valorant. His kit allows him to secure information that no other agent can, and his mix-up potential with darts can leave any enemy annoyed. With that being said though, if you guys enjoy this guide and wanna see some more recon dart guides on each map in the future, please comment down below. Now with that, let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, the main issue that many newer Sova players experience is that they get too caught up in the complexity of their recon darts. It's a very easy mistake to confuse the best recon darts with the most complicated. However, some of the highest value ones can come on the fly in a given situation. One of the biggest rules of thumb that I can share with you guys today is how important the speed of your recon dart is, especially when used on the attacker side. Essentially, those convoluted lineups that you see on Reddit or other mediums are usually very situational and oftentimes harmful to learn. Hyper-focusing on long-winded setups can often put your team at a disadvantage and can have a low impact when actually taking control of sites. So why is speed so important? Well, imagine you are a defender on the bomb site. When a recon dart is floating through the air, making noise, it's much easier to react to. I would say in a team environment where you and your teammates have practiced executing off your recon darts, that many of these lineups are quite advantageous. But that being said though, I wanna teach you how to get more value out of your recon darts and ranked, especially if you're not playing with a pre-made stack. We'll be covering several recon darts that can be used on Haven for both the A and C bombsite alongside how and why these are important to learn. Keep in mind that mixing up your darts is more important than you might think. No matter how good a dart may be, one that is unpredictable will usually find better value. Although we are showcasing specifics for Haven, these same concepts apply to each Valorant map. No matter what part of the map or which map you're playing, the best way is to poise your recon dart by making it fast, high, and behind your opponent. There will be times where this may not be feasible, but this is the ideal recon dart. So make sure you're thinking about how the enemy will react to your dart. Remember, you want to make it as annoying as possible to shoot. Before we get into the rest of the video though, we have our question of the day. How do you guys feel about Sky's place in the meta now that she has been released for a bit? Personally, my initial thoughts are that she has a pretty strong kit that might need some tuning back. However, with some time on my own hands to play Sky, I feel like it's hard to pick her over Breach or Sova. She kind of falls in between two agents and provides a good mix. Maybe it's out of comfort or habit, but I prefer Breach's flashes and Sova's ability to find information. I feel that Sky does both of these things in a weaker way, but she's a lot more flexible. I hope to see teams adopt her so we can get a better feel for how strong she truly is. Let us know if you're enjoying Sky or if you think that she's secretly OP. Before we talk about the recon darts you should be using to help your team push for any bomb site, we first need to talk about using it for early map control. In some of your games or rounds, the enemy team won't be playing aggressive and will be giving you control of the map for free. However, you should never assume this is the case until you've played enough rounds to establish how your enemies like to play. So first, let's talk about early recon darting A long and A sewers to help you establish map control. You want to condition these types of players that like to play aggressively that there will be repercussions for playing that way. Conditioning is key here, folks, and the best Sovas are masterminds at this. So imagine you're a defender peeking through sewers or A long. The most annoying thing to do is have a recon dart land high and behind you. So that's exactly what you should be aiming to do to them. You will need a lineup for the A long dart as the defenders will kill you if you try to recon dart while exposing yourself. However, you actually won't need one for sewers as you have better timing than them. By the time they run past the barriers and try to peek sewers, you should have enough time to throw your recon dart in there. For the A long dart, line up with this box near spawn. You want to aim the left diamond in line with the tip of this edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the goal is to land it in this general area, forcing the enemy to either turn their back or kill the dart or get scanned. With the sewer dart, you simply want to hit the back wall. This will force any opponents who are looking to early peek from sewers to either wait or break the dart. The key is to land it high on the back wall, so they will have to adjust their crosshair even more. Now that you understand how to condition the enemies that you won't give up areas of the map for free, you can now worry about how your darts can be used to secure sites easier. The same concept will apply with all these darts. The ideal dart will always be behind the enemy, high up, and preferably the fastest speed possible. Understanding the best possible dart is great, but again, you must have the other ones because enemies will catch on. Let's start with the strongest dart for A site. You want it to ideally land at this top portion. This will allow you to scan most of short as well, including the entire site. The only place that they can hide from this is under heaven called hell, which is completely fine. Once you learn this, you can start pivoting to ones that land to the right, left, or somewhere in between. 
The goal is to establish this annoying dart first, then mix in less effective darts to stay unpredictable. This type of thinking will be used again when we cover the recon darts for A-Sight as well. The best recon dart for A-Sight can be done in many different ways. Today, I'll be showing you the most common one that is probably the easiest to replicate. You want to line yourself up with this concrete piece at A-Long, aim your crosshair at the back wall where the color shifts from white to yellow. It doesn't have to be pixel perfect, but this is the easiest to remember. Do a single charge and it should be good to go. Once you learn this, the rest is easy. Let's quickly look at some darts that are great if this dart is starting to get predictable. Remember what I said about fast darts being so great? Well, these are some great darts if your lineups aren't getting scammed. You don't have to do these exactly, but the idea is there. Anything fast that hits high up and behind your opponent will be harder to react to than any complicated lineup dart. You want to know both though, so you guys stay properly unpredictable. Moving on to C-Sight, because of its single lane layout at C-Long, you don't necessarily need to recon dart the lane to stop aggression. This is because the opponents can't really establish a way to peek you simultaneously like how they may be able to at C-Long and C-Sewers. By simply pushing forward off the barriers, you can post on an off angle to see if anyone is pushing forward. The only issue you may run into is a duelist that is pushing forward because they can flash or dash away. If you know you're going to run into it, then either a dart or a drone off start will help you prepare for that fight. Let's talk about the two execution darts that you would want to remember for Seasight. These two are both great at scanning the pesky corners and will most likely clear every portion of the site. Like the darts I covered previously, you want to constantly be switching those around. Even simply walking forward and throwing one somewhere on the back wall will be more effective than these lineups. The main thing to remember is to change them if they are no longer getting scanned or getting broken instantly. I will mention that if your team is looking to take C site, your recon darts are best thrown from the A long area. You can try and get one thrown from garage, but the angle doesn't always allow for easy arrows without using bounces or convoluted lineups. Sova is great at setting his team up for success as we have shown, not only for establishing early map presence, but also for executing onto site. He is by far one of the best agents for doing either, and with the exception of other initiators like Breach or Sky. However, what sets Sova apart is his ability to gain information as well, especially from extreme distances. This final part of the guide will cover how to better utilize his recon darts on the defensive side, especially early on so you can better equip yourself to reinforce weaker positions and look to flank. The best Sovas are great at not only knowing these darts, but also relaying the information to their teammates and responding accordingly. The same concepts about recon darts still apply here. The best darts will still be fast, high, and above your opponents. If you've been following along with the guide so far, then you should know the golden rule by now. Say it with me, fast, high, and behind your opponents. Well, what do you know? This still very much applies to defensive recon darts. Let's first start off with a dart that is great at halting or stalling early aggression at A main. Because you have the better timing at A long, you can actually peek into A main quickly and shoot this recon dart without fear of dying right away. You simply full charge single bounce and it will land right on this back wall. Any players looking to push fast and early will be met with this pesky dart. The amount of times I've caught players pushing early and disregarding this dart is crazy, and it's my pick for the best dart at A main at the moment. If it doesn't get scans and isn't destroyed, I'll typically rotate off so I can use my other utility to help my teammates. You know how I mentioned that you can gain info from a distance without exposing yourself with Sova? Well, let me show you my favorite dart for scanning enemies outside of A main without being on the A side of the map at all. If you line up at B site into this corner and full charge, one bounce at this part of the wall, it will land on a tree near their spawn and scan anyone on the A side of the map. It can also even get scans of players around the entrance of mid window. This is great if you don't want to contest A main, but still want to grab some information on where the enemies are contesting on the map. Now onto the C side of the map. This side is actually much easier to deal with and doesn't actually need any lineups if you don't want to learn them. Simply throw one down C long and landing somewhere on the back wall will suffice, but let me show you one of my favorites as it lands on top of a tree in the back of C long. This dart is harder to shoot and will also scan players waiting outside C long. Similar to all the darts I covered already, mixing up your darts is essential in order to get value from them. You want to line yourself up with the default box on the back side of C site. Aim your crosshair somewhere near the bottom where the two lines meet. Then you want to look upwards and line up the side of your bar to the middle of those two pieces of roofing. Shoot it at one charge and you're good to go. There are plenty of variations of this that you can explore, and you can also simply throw one with no lineup that hits the back wall. Lastly, if you're playing on the C side of the map, but still want info for early rotates to A, you can line up with the logs on C site. Aim at this tip of roof on the right wall and full charge one bounce your recon dart. Similarly to the lineup we covered on B site, this one will land outside of A main and scan anyone looking to push towards the A side of the map. 
On a final side note, before we finish off this guide, I want to briefly mention Silva's ability to use either the Odin or the Ares. Because these weapons are both fast firing, high penetration, when used properly in conjunction with his recon dart, you can find some pretty cheeky kills that no other agent can really find. The easiest way to utilize this combo well is by marking the spots that the enemies can peek off spawn. This makes wall banging those spots much easier, and it can highly disincentivize enemies from pushing those areas of the map early. Throw in a recon dart that lands outside of garage somewhere, and your opponents will think twice about challenging you. On top of that, I can't tell you how many times I've secured free kills doing this. Once I discovered this, my fragging potential on the defender side when I play Sova has gone up quite a bit. If you feel like you're lacking the oomph when you play Sova, try buying the Odin or Ares more often on defender side. Who knows, you may surprise yourself. Remember that all of the tips or concepts covered today can and should be applied to any map that Sova can play with the exception of Split. Today, we covered Sova and how you can best utilize his recon darts. Although we talked about some specific darts on Haven, the main concepts are the real takeaways to remember. Keep in mind that speed, placement, and mix-ups are far more important than remembering specific lineups. We hope that this guide helps you recognize when you're not getting the value out of your recon darts that you should look up to change them. We highly suggest that you go into custom games and find your own variations of some of the darts that I showed you today. They will be easier to remember and will help you understand why these recon darts are so strong to begin with. Besides that, if you do want to keep up to date with the Valorant meta, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell notification. Also, we hope you guys check out our website, ProGuides.com, where we have the best on-demand coaching out there. You can get connected with one of our highly skilled Valorant coaches who can guide you through your own individual needs. They can even help you with your Sova darts if you want some more information or help. Lastly, check out our Discord. We have a lovely community there and we hope to see you be a part of it too. That's all for now guys though. Till the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all in the next one.